In this video, I will show you the mind-blowing effects that I use in my videos, from text highlighting to motion graphics, and even adding sound effects. Plus, you'll learn how to create graphs directly in CapCut. I used this effect when I recommended my old video in one of my videos. I'll show you how to do it. Add one of your old thumbnails that you want to promote on your timeline. Then go to the Effects section and type Flame Frame into the search engine. Drag this effect onto your thumbnail. Personally, I wouldn't change any of these settings. They're fine the way they are. At the top, you can change the color to whatever you want. For example, I'll choose blue, move two keyframes forward using the right arrow, and add Transform Keyframe. Set scale to 130%. Press Shift plus right arrow about seven times and change the scale to 100. Press Shift and right arrow two times and add another Transform Keyframe, but don't change anything. Then scroll to the end and change the scale to 135. Let's make it a little more smooth. Click on the image and press Alt plus K. Right click in the Scale section on the first line and select Present Curves. Select an option Cubic Ease. You can skip the middle line, nothing happened there and do the same on the last one. Press Alt plus K again to hide the options. Next, I will show you how to highlight text. Add picture or video to the timeline. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write underscore in the black box. Scroll down a bit until you see uniform scale and turn it off. Move the white line under the text you want to highlight and set the scale width so that it extends under the entire text. Change the scale height to make the line a little thinner. Hold Control and scroll with mouse wheel to zoom the screen. Hold Alt and scroll the mouse wheel to move sideways on the screen. Set the line exactly where you need it. Again, hold Control and scroll with mouse wheel to zoom out the screen. Right click on the text and select Create Compound Clip. Go to Effects and type Glow in the search box. Drag Glow 2 to your compound clip. Left click here to get inside the compound clip. I forgot to change the color, so set it to whatever you need. I'll choose blue. Then click on this arrow to get out. Click on Special Effects Edit. Reduce the size to something around 20, and then the glow to something around 30. Click outside the clip, and then back into it. Go to the video section. Go to Mask and click on Add Mask. Then select Split Screen and rotate the mask minus 90 degrees. Drag the mask so that it hides the entire blue line. Add Mask Settings Keyframe. Move forward on the timeline and drag the mask to the other side. Done, but we can improve it a little more smooth. Left click on the clip, then press Alt plus K. Right click on the line that represents our movement, then on Present Curves, and select Quad In. Your animation will be slower at the beginning and faster towards the end. Did you know that CapCut added graphs? I was honestly shocked when I found out. For example, I created a graph of views for the year 2024, a graph showing how many people are subscribed and how many aren't. Or I created a graph showing how often I train each muscle group in a week. I'll show you a quick example of how it works. Click on stickers. In trending, you should have graphs click on that. I'll show you how it works on a simple pie chart. So after selecting the graph, click on clear data at the top. I personally want to convert this statistic into a pie chart. Now hover over Type, left click, and select Insert a row below. Repeat as many times as you need. I'll add two. Click twice in the first box and write the name of the section there. In my case, it will be subscribed. I will write the corresponding value in the box next to it. I'll do the same one line lower, but this time with Not Subscribed. Now we just need to fine tune the graph to our liking. Click here on more chart settings. First, we can edit this graph title. Personally, I prefer to add it outside the graph so we can turn it off. Below that, you can choose whether the section names will be shown outside the graph or in the graph, or turn them off completely. You don't have many options for them, but I like them best as they were at the start. Let's click on the last section where we will edit the appearance of the chart. You have a few default options here, but I personally leave it at the first one. Below that, you can edit the chart to make it empty inside. And besides that, you can edit the size of the chart. I don't use the two settings below because in this case, they just ruin the look of the graph. Below that, you have a color menu of your chart. You can also set it manually. I'll click on the blue one next to not subscribed and choose red instead. Below you have the background settings. When you click on black, you can change the color to whatever you want. Alternatively, you can remove the background completely and only the graph will be left. Or you can import a photo for the background. Below that, you have a stroke that you can play around with a little bit, or turn off completely. 
For this case, I will turn off the background completely. And finally, we are left with several options for how our graph will be displayed. I will choose Rise, for example. We still have one last option, which is to adjust how fast our graph's animation will be. Before adding the graph, save it because if you don't save it, you won't be able to change anything on it. If you have everything ready, press Add to Timeline. Zoom in a little and see if it's what you imagine it to be. If you want to change something, go back to the chart interface and click on History. Open New Chart. And for example, I changed the effect to Fade. Bottom left, change the interface to 16 to 9. And I can add it again. All graphs work on the same principle. While making this video, I thought you might like to learn how to create this effect I've already used. I added a piece of video to the timeline that will serve as a background. I'll add an image that I want to use to interrupt the video. I'll make it smaller a little. I'll go to where my image starts and on the video under it add a blend keyframe. Set the blend to 40. Then move 5 keyframes back and set the opacity to 100. Now go to the end of the video on the timeline and press freeze. This will add an image showing the scene from the video where you are with the cursor. Stretch it under the whole image you added. Click on the top image and go to animation, then select click open or whatever else suits you. Go to out animation and select old TV. Shorten the length of the out animation a bit and now we only need one last thing. Do you have any idea what it could be? We need to liven up our animation with some sounds. So I'll show you how to add sound effects directly in CapCut. Go to Audio, and then to Sounds Effects. First, I'll type Click into the search engine, and try to find some effect of the clicking. I'll drag it to the timeline and move behind the audio track and press Control plus B and delete the rest of audio. Now I find the moment in the video where the mouse clicks, and I fit the audio track to that exact moment. Let's watch the end of the video. I would type glitch into the search engine here. I didn't like the first one much, but the second one sounds good. Turn the volume down a little and it'll be perfect. Now I will show you how to change voice in CapCut PC. The first thing you do is add some audio track with a voice. Then click on voice changer. You can choose here, for example, low, which sounds like some kind of hacker. Or you can try vinyl, which sounds like an old radio. Or even you can try Echo if you want more options. You can also go to voice characters. You can find here, for example, the voice of the robot. Or even the voice of a chipmunk. Lastly, I'll show you the warning effect. First, I add video on the timeline. Click on the effect section. Type warning into the search engine. Here, find warning effect. Drag the effect onto video or above the video. Now go to audio. There, go to sounds effects. Type warning again in the search engine. I personally like the first sound the most. Drag it to the timeline and turn the volume down a bit. If you need it longer, just copy it. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Have a nice day.